discussion of the areas in which we have corrected abuses. Article 23 about the marriage of priests. There have been widespread complaints about priests who set bad examples by living immoral lives. For that reason, also, Pope Pius is reported to have said that there were some reasons why marriage was taken away from priests, but that, w but that there were many more important reasons why they should marry Platina, life of Pius II. Since therefore our priest wishes to avoid such public scandals, they married wives and thought that it, is, it was lawful for them to make marriage contract, contracts. First of all, because Paul says, since there is so much immorality, each man should have his own wife, and it is better to marry than to burn with patience. One with patience. One Corinthians, chapter seven, verse two and nine. Second, Christ says, not everyone, not everyone can accept this word. Matthew, chapter chapter nineteen, verse eleven, where he teaches that. Not everyone is fit to lead, a, to lead a single life, for God created man to reproduce. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 And a person does not have the power to change the way he is created unless he has an unusual gift and ability from God. For it is clear, and many people have said so, that no good, honest, moral life, no Christian, sincere, Godly conduct has resulted from remaining single, but many people have felt a horrible, fearful unrest and a total conscience right to the end. To the end. Therefore, those who are not seated, seated to lead a single life ought to be properly married. For no human law, no foe, can do away with the commandment and, and decree of God. For these reasons, our pastors teach that it is lawful for them to marry wives. It is also clear that in the ancient church, priests were married men. For Paul says that a bishop should be chosen who is the husband of one wife. 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 and in Germany, priests were for the first time physically forced to remain unmarried only for only 400 years ago. Indeed, they offered so much resistance that when the Archbishop of Mainz tried to publish the Pope's decree, the, the Pope's decree on the subject, he was almost killed in the uproar, in the uproar raised by the angry priest. This matter was put into effect in the very harsh way. Not only were priests forbidden to marry in the future, but priests who were already married were forced to separate, separate for their wives. This contrary to all humans, to, to all human and divine laws, contrary even to the church laws made by the popes and by the most foremost councils. Besides, Many God-fearing and intelligent people in high positions frequently expressed their, doub their doubts that any good results have come from enforcing celibacy. It reprieves men of marriage, which God himself created and allowed as a choice to men. Rather, celibacy has brought about many great and evil vices and, and much sin. As the world grows, as the world grows older, and mankind's nature in gradual, is gradually growing weaker. We must be on guard so that no more sinful practices sneak into Germany. Furthermore, God established marriage as a help against human weakness. The church laws themselves state that the old strictness ought now and then in the later times to be relaxed, to be relaxed because of human weakness. This should also be done in this matter. It should be expected that the churches shall at some time be short of pastors if marriages remain 
remains forbidden. Yet, although the commandment of God remains in force and practice of the church is well known, and although in the, the impure life of this supposed celibacy priest continues to cause many scandals, adulteries, and other crimes that deserve the punishments of, ju of just magistrates, yet it is a marvel that more cruelty is sound in regard, in regard to the marriage of priests than in, than in anything else. God has commanded us to honor marriage. Marriage is most highly honored, is most un highly honored by the laws of all well ordered societies, even among the heathen. But now men and priests at that are clearly put, put to death, contrary to the intent of the church laws, for no, for no other reason except that they are married. They are, they are married. Paul says that Paul says that it is a doctrine of divorce which forbids marry, marriage. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 and 3. This is very un understa understandable when laws against marriage are maintained by such penalties. But just as no law made by humans can overrule a commandment, commandment of God in the same way no human foe can do away with it. Thus, Cyprian advises women who cannot, who cannot remain pure as they have promised to get married. He says if they are unwilling or unable to remain unmarried, it is better for them to marry than to fall into the fire to their lust. They should not be offering their brothers and sisters by doing this. It was a common practice until now for very young people to take such vows. Even church laws even such laws were less strict in such cases.